Hey there, I'm James Hagedorn from the Denver Museum of Nature and Science, and I'm out here in eastern Nevada in the desert looking at a bunch of really old rocks. The rocks behind me here and underneath my feet are a bunch of sandstones that are about 550 million years ago, and they have structures and grains in them that suggest that they may have been formed along an ancient coastline, perhaps where rivers and bays were. But what's interesting is what's on top of these layered sedimentary rocks are all these darker colored rocks that are uh, called basalts. Basalts are a type of rock that you may have in your neighborhood, but it forms typically when lava that erupts from a volcano spews out on the surface and cools, and it forms this sort of greenish, brownish, kind of angular breaking rock. And I'm here out in Nevada investigating these rocks with a bunch of colleagues from Sonora, Mexico, uh, trying to figure out what they have to tell us about Earth history. And in particular, this these rocks were deposited very close to the time when we think that the Pacific Ocean started to open up. And when you open up an ocean on the surface of the Earth or you rip apart a continent, what happens? Volcanoes and lava. And so we're looking for clues in the chemistry and the minerals of these rocks to try to figure that out.